Hello, and welcome back to The Frame Channel. Steel drum barrels are very popular within the food, pharmaceutical, and petrochemical industries for the storage of industrial liquids and semi-liquids in large quantities. Over 20,000 steel drum barrels are produced in America every year. And these drums usually last up to 20 years. The average 55 US gallon open head drum measures 34.70 inches in height. It has a diameter of 20.50 inches with round chimes and three hoops along the body. But how are these shiny steel containers manufactured? Barrels begin life as large steel coils, which arrive at the factory ready to be unrolled. Specialized machinery is used to unfurl the coil and feed it onto a conveyor belt. Next, the open sheet passes through a second device known as a shearing machine. Inside this unit, a moving blade presses sharply down onto the steel, which is positioned over a second stationary blade. The combination of pressure and movement produced by the machine cuts through the metal cleanly, creating new barrel-sized sections which sport perfectly straight edges. Afterwards, these precise steel portions have to be curled to create the hollow bodies of the barrels using rolling machines. As their name suggests, these units feature rollers which rotate in opposite directions while compressing the metal sheets. This causes the steel sections to gradually curve and form the cylindrical profile of the barrel drums. The longitudinal open ends of the shapes are then sealed through a process known as resistance welding. The welded seams ensure the tube-like vessels remain watertight. To create lids and bases, a machine called a punch press is used. A section of the steel sheet is sandwiched between the upper part of this machine, known as the punch, and the lower part, known as the die. The punch strikes the metal down into the die, forming the shape of the lid or base. The entire process takes just seconds to complete. Finally, the punch pressed lids and bases are attached to the barrels, completing the assembly process. Each lid or base is either mechanically or manually placed on top or bottom of the cylinders before a roller machine flattens the edges down to create seals, known as chimes, around the barrel's rims. The finished barrels are then quality tested using pressurized air to check for apertures that could result in leakage. Humans have always needed vessels in which to transport liquids from one location to another. The ancient Greeks and Egyptians, for example, used cylindrical clay pots. In the late 1800s, wooden barrels were the container of choice for mass storage of wine. Skilled craftsmen, known as coopers, crafted solid oak wood into long, thin strips, or staves, which were air or kiln dried before being shaped to fit tightly inside metal hoops. Water and heat were added to make the wood soft and pliable. This flexible wood was then bent, shaped, and sanded so that it could hold the barrel's head and base in place before a final hoop was fitted on. The completed barrel was then tested to check that it was watertight. The tools, materials, and techniques used in making these traditional barrels have remained the same for hundreds of years. With the advent of mass production techniques during the 20th century, both in the manufacture and shaping of metals, steel barrels soon become more popular than their wooden counterparts. Not only could these containers be produced at a much quicker rate than their traditional equivalents, but they were also much easier to clean and could be reused indefinitely. Once a steel barrel has been manufactured, it needs to be filled. 
a process often undertaken by automated filling machines. These units use conveyor systems to carefully position each drum beneath their debunging attachments, which remove the barrel's stoppers or bungs. The vessels are then transported down the line to a nozzle, where they are automatically filled with a preset volume of liquid. The machines then replace the bungs and move the barrels smoothly down the line. This quick and automated method minimizes spillages and ensures precise and uniform liquid quantities in each container. Thanks to their robust strength, mobility, and fire-resistant properties, steel drums are often viewed as the vessels of choice for refined oil products. These barrels offer a handy solution for the storage and transportation of smaller consignments of oil. For larger deliveries, where it would be either too time-consuming or logistically impractical to move thousands of barrels at once, oil can be delivered to its destination via underwater pipelines or massive tanker ships. From stem to stern, these tanker ships are adequately equipped with state-of-the-art technologies for the safety of the crew, their cargo, and most importantly, to prevent any occurrence of oil spillage in the ocean. Since 2015, every tanker operating in U.S. waters was mandated to be built with a double hull configuration. This allows for the safety of the cargo contained in the inner hull, even if a breach occurred in the outer hull. With these measures in place, 99.9% .9 of all oil delivered to the United States by tankers have reached its destination without incident. But what does the future hold for the steel barrel market? Well, forecasts suggest that this sector is set to grow during the coming years. Its current value, which stands at $11.7 billion, is expected to soar to $18.6 billion by the year 2031, representing a compound annual growth rate of almost 5% during the period. As such, steel barrels will surely remain a familiar fixture at industrial facilities the world over, and with good reason. Thanks to their reusability, recyclability, and proven track record of safety, steel barrel containers will undoubtedly maintain their popularity for many years to come. That's the end of this feature on The Frame. I hope you enjoyed it! Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time!